I bought 10 crazy tools off of Alibaba, and some of them were awesome, some of them were complete trash, and a couple of them might actually kill you. <laughs> that is terrifying. So here's all the packages. I spent just over $100 on them, and let's dive in. I think we'll start with this one. All right. Oh, I think I know what this is. <laughs> okay, this one I think has the potential to be the coolest one. So here's the description of what I bought. This is a portable conversion head kit, electric drill to electric chainsaw adapter. That is right. This is a chainsaw for your cordless drill. And all these tools are actually attachments for drills that are just insane. This thing was $11.32 with free shipping. And uh, let's see if they say anything about it. And high quality chain, there's flames, so we know it's gotta be good. Let's just dive in and put it together and see how it works. All right, I got this beast all assembled and <laughs> it definitely took a little bit of doing. Uh, no instructions, I think that's probably gonna be a theme. So, but just take a look at that thing. How cool is that? And look, you even got this little protector up here. This is fantastic. Let's plug it in and see how it works. All right, I'm gonna rip this guy into the drill. All right, I got my eye protection on because this thing could come flying off, who knows. <laughs> that is terrifying. I feel like having your hand right next to the blade, probably not a good idea. All right, let's put this thing to the test. I've got a one inch pine dowel. Uh, if it can't cut this, I don't know what it can do. Here we go. Let's see how this bad boy works. <laughs> This thing's amazing. I love this. <laughs> All right, we ripped through that dowel. I'm gonna try a two by four now. See if we give it a little more meat, if it can still plow through it. <laughs> I don't know. I do not think this will hold up very long, but uh, on the first few cuts, it's not bad. All right, the chainsaw drill. <laughs> this thing, first of all, it just looks amazing. This thing is insane. Turning your drill into a chainsaw is an amazing idea, but it is so dangerous. With your hand right here next to the chain, somebody is gonna lose a finger or five. So I'm gonna give this a big thumbs down. Do not go buy this. Of course, unless you just want a mini chainsaw uh, to impress your friends. In that case, you know, use at your own risk. <laughs> all right, after that last one, I hope this one is tame because, uh, I wanna to have to change my shorts again. Wait a minute. This is something I ordered for another video. I think they may have comboed a few things in the same box. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Not so crazy drill attachments, uh, just some little guys. Let's check these out. All right, these are definitely much more tame. Uh, this is, I believe, a magnetic tip for a drill, and then this is a little wobble bit. Let's see uh, what they said when I bought them online. So this is the magnetic ring, alloy magnetic ring, screwdriver, bits corrosion, anti-corrosion, strong magnetizer, drill bit, magnetic ring. I think they said magnetic ring three times <laughs> in the description. That is one thing about the Alibaba descriptions. They do not disappoint in uh, keyword stuffing for, you know, search engine optimization. <laughs> this little guy was only two cents, but it did cost two fifty to ship it. And they show some pictures here of it uh, you know, holding bits and oh, yes, it can hold hundreds of screws versus, you know, only only five. This one looks pretty self-explanatory. Let's see how it works. I've got my little Milwaukee impact driver here with a little tip on it. Now let's see if this will actually fit over. Nope, that does not fit at all. I thought that might be the case. So I also have a large driver bit here and uh, we'll see if that works. And then put this over the top. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, grab the screw. I wonder how close you have to get that. I wonder if you could kind of almost use it for one of those drywall, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, like a drywall nibble doubler, a nibble. <laughs> what I was trying to say was dimpler. That came out double nibbler. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's see this work that, that holds really nicely and strong. Let's put it to the test and see if uh, it'll actually pick up all those screws that said it would. Disappointed. Only picked up five screws. Well, let's see here. Tap it in. That works actually really nicely. All right, after further inspection, I do not like this because I actually stripped out more than half of the screws that I did here. I think it's just because this is so wide, you can't really see the tip of it as you're drilling down. All right, so this little guy for 250, is it worth it? Uh, I don't think so because uh, I can't really use it on the two bits that I use the most, which is uh, the inserted bit and then also a round one. And the only style bit that it would work with, I only have a Phillips end and I was kind of camming out of all of them and couldn't really see what I was doing. So yeah, it'll hold it, but I'm gonna give 
a thumbs down. All right, we're 0 for 2, but I've got high hopes for this one. All right, so this guy is the magnetic pivot drill bit, quarter inch, and then a bunch of keywords. And it was $4.27 with free shipping. Uh, basically, the idea here is if you pull it up, it swivels. And if you pull that collar down, then it's just a straight driver. And I love that. We'll see how it works. All right, so we know if we have a little piece like this, we need to get into the corner of something. It's a little bit hard to get down there low because of uh, the body of your drill. So this is my normal drill bit, and let's see how low we can get uh, with it still being parallel. It's so right about there. Okay, now let's try this guy. And it should be the same there straight, but now let me do the little wobble. And now let's see. Okay, I kind of want it to like, when you're pushing it in, it actually kind of wants to just go back and seat itself. So it's kind of hard, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, this is not easy. Hold on, what have you done? Oh no. <laughs> okay, so apparently I have broken this. Uh, I was just pulling it forward and now it will not go back down. I guess that's a thumbs down. <laughs> All right, guys, we are not off to a good start. <laughs> Let's see if this one will turn it around. What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> I laugh because this is the uh, sheet metal nibbler. I think this is where I came up with double nibbler. <laughs> so it shows, uh, you know, you can do like a little straight line rip with this little pin, all kinds of different metal. Ooh, it just nibbles right away. Uh, allowable cutting thickness up to 1.2 or 1.8, <laughs> depending on which line you want to read. This, this, packaging, <laughs> this packaging is so good. Okay, let me open this up so I can show you guys. Look at this glorious. <laughs> I mean, this looks like it came out of a 50s Family Handyman or a Sears Roebuck catalog. But here it is. This is uh, the double nibbler. And I think you can, it's double because I think you can undo this right here and then around so either side don't know why you would want to change that i've never used a nibbler so here we go let's try it out so here's how this little thing works so once you turn the drill on this little piece right there will just go up and down and nibble i guess away at the metal so i got a piece of 26 gauge sheet metal here and it makes an amazing sound <laughs> but there are a lot of different ways to cut metal in the air nibbler uh, from what I understand again I've not, never used one is great for cutting out you know curves and shapes or if you're cutting trim for a metal roof or something like that so I'm just gonna draw a radius like we were fitting it around a pipe and see if I can cut it out I'll chuck this bad boy up and go to town let's get to nibbling oh wait how do I do this I guess it would help if I've used an air nibbler before. Definitely did some nibbling. It's just kind of like tearing it up. It's not really cutting it. For all you professional nibblers out there, leave me some comments down below. How do I nibble better? Oh, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Check that out. All right, this nibbler, I am impressed. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out how to do it, but once I did, look at that. It turned out really nice. Uh, the key is, is just foot on the pedal and just go as fast as you can. I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up. All right, number five. Let's check out what is in the box. First of all, I'm a little uh, scared about this one. It sounds like a bunch of nuts and bolts just flying around in here. What do we have in here? <gasps> this is a circular saw attachment for the drill. Oh my gosh, this is supposed to be 90 degrees, I believe. $5.95 and $18 shipping. So we've got a bunch of little pieces, but the main part is this arbor right here. And uh, this looks like it actually might fit the saw blade I have, so that's a plus. All right, we are all put together, but it did not come without uh, some issues. And uh, yeah, where do I start here? So this is just a nice little straight piece up here. But uh, when you push it up, it actually, you know, wants to bend. So that's just kind of like in the design that it just you just bend the metal. But the arbor is a weird shape. It is 10 millimeters. So actually, uh, this little 3 8 blade wouldn't fit. And also it wouldn't fit because it's a four and a half inch blade. And uh, this is just made for four inch saw. So this would have come through the top of the uh, little guard here. But I did find a blade that would work. And this is a little uh, cobalt blade. I believe this is actually meant for some of those little small trim saws like the, the one from Dremel. And this will actually fit on here. So we're going to put it on and see how it works. 
This is another great thing here. As you go to put this on, uh, the arbor is actually exactly in line with the uh, little shroud here. So you have to just like basically scrape it in because the clearance is not there. Now, they do give you a nice little wrench though to keep everything uh, still and locked down when you tighten it. That's nice. All right, so right out of the gate, we definitely have some limitations with this guy. Uh, it's only going to cut about not even quite five eighths of an inch just because that is as low as it will go. So I've got a little piece of half inch plywood. Let's see how straight I can cut this with the circular saw drill saw. Circular saw drill. Saw drill. I like that. Okay. Gosh, that was horrible. <laughs> okay, that was again terrifying. This thing was hopping all over the place. And this is an abrasive disc, so it's not cutting, it's more like grinding. Uh, so maybe with a carbide tooth, it would be a little bit better, but I think the problem is this just doesn't go fast enough. And for almost 25 bucks, you can get a cheap circular saw for $40. I see no situation where I would ever recommend this to anybody for any purpose at all. Uh, spend the extra 15 bucks and just Get a normal circular saw. So that's a big thumbs down for this one. All right, let's move on to the next one and we'll see, hopefully this one is better because we are not on a good streak so far. Okay. So this is a drill bit sharpener that you can put in your drill. And uh, the description here says five pairs drill bit sharpener. Nice and simple and to the point. This one comes in at $7.25 with free shipping. Just try it out. I found a quarter inch bit that looks like it's seen better days. It's got a lot of chips here on the edge. Uh, I'm going to chuck it up and then we'll see how it performs. See if we get a lot of tear out because I'm not sure exactly how we can measure sharpness other than maybe tear out and just visually. All right. So that actually wasn't too bad at all. Honestly, I don't have a ton of super dull bits because I either break them or lose them before they get that way. <laughs> Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments if you're always snapping bits. But uh, we did have a little bit of tear out on this one. And so I guess we'll just see if we have less tear out after we sharpen it. All right. This does seem like it's going to be a little bit hard to do <laughs> with two hands. I can't grab it because this little piece is in the way here. So I guess I just have to hold it with my thumb. All right. We'll see how this goes. Okay, this is a horrible design. Like if this piece right here was just gone, that would be okay. I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna make it gone. See, look at that. I can just get my fingers in there. Now let's try it. Okay. Ooh, it's nice and shiny on the end. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> <laughs> I had such high hopes. This is not drilling at all anymore. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh, come on. There you go. If you want to ruin your bits, this is a, is a great one to do it. So I think we're going to have to give this one a thumbs down as well. I think I know what this one is by the shape of it, but uh, let's jump in. That's what I think it is. I'm kind of excited, but ready to be disappointed. Oh, it is. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me give you guys the description that I read on the site that got me excited. This is the electric drill dust collector catcher attachment. If you've been following the channel, you know I hate dust. So anything that will capture dust is amazing. It's got little brushes in here and I guess it just kind of goes on and it sucks the dust out. I have no idea how this is going to work. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not going to. So this little guy comes in at $3.12 with free shipping. So very inexpensive. And uh, let's see here. I get uh, the back comes off so you can empty the dust out. So we just put this on the drill bits and uh, oh, it's got a little scrub brush type thing in there. All right, let's get a, let's get a drill bit and drill some stuff. All right, I got a little 5 16th bit chucked in here. I figured a big one would probably be easier. Uh, so we're just going to put this on top. Just sticks right through and... <laughs> this is not gonna work well. <laughs> oh, maybe you have to hold it in place. Let me try it first without holding it in place. Yeah, that does not work. Let me hold it in place. Look at that! So it definitely catches some dust, but it definitely leaves a lot as well. Let's try that smaller bit. All right, I've got an eighth inch bit chucked up here and let's see if this one is any better. Just tape the top off there and absolutely, we got all kinds of little dust in there. Uh, I tell you what, this does catch dust. Doesn't catch all the dust, but 
we're going to give it a thumbs up because it does what it says it would do. And we need the thumbs up. I probably wouldn't use it. <laughs> Next up, this one is no surprise because uh, it says it right here. This is an electric drill refitting plate shears, uh, and it also cuts metal. And I've got high hopes just because it came in the best packaging of all of them yet. So uh, let's see what the site said about it, how much it was. It was $18.18 .18 with free shipping. And again, look, it's got instructions. This is well packaged. I think this is going to work. All right, after far too long, uh, I finally figured out how this works. Uh, it's got a, this little piece on the back here, and I had it turned around a couple times. But uh, then you put the spring on it, and then you wrap the spring around, and that holds it on the handle. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's this thing is quite wobbly, <laughs> but let's see how it cuts. I've got my sheet clamp down that uh, the nibbler did its work on, and uh, now we're going to see if I can follow this straight line here and get a nice clean edge. Woo, that goes fast. Wow, that just pulls right through. Woo, jeez. All right, again, uh, somewhat terrifying. Actually, I should, I'm gonna try this on a slower setting. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Look how nice that turned out. This is the best tool by far. I'm giving this one, two thumbs up. I like that. All right, I'm feeling good after that last one. Let's see what we have in here. Oh yes, this is the Riveter. All right, let's see what they say about this one. This is the electric rivet gun and it was $16.61 with free shipping. But this thing looks super nice. We've got some metal we just cut, so let's see if we can rivet it together. I used a couple of these pieces that I cut with the shear and drilled a couple holes in them. So if we wanted to put together these two horribly cut pieces of metal, we'd do it with a pop rivet. Now, one thing I love about this, it has this little handle and it's got a little open part in here because it's got some extra little jaws there. You can just stuff these guys in here, put the little cap on, and you've got your replacement parts right in here. You can even put some extra rivets in there. I love that. All right, so I've got my little pop rivet sized with the hole that I'm using. I'm just gonna put this right through here. All right, here we go. All right, pop goes the weasel. That is a pop rivet and uh, that looks fantastic. Let's get the other one in. Let's see here. So to get this back out, yeah, you put it in reverse and it just spits it out. That's pretty cool. All right, I get this all clamped down like a professional now. And I've got the camera in there for a nice close-up. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that was much faster. All right, here you go. A nice piece of pop riveted metal. The drill attachment riveter, two thumbs up again. Seems like the metalworking tools are where it's at. All right, this is our last tool, so I know what this one is. But before I open it up, let me know down in the comments, what has been your favorite tool so far? And are you gonna be grabbing any of them? Let's get this bad boy open. Ah, yes, another woodworking tool. So it's probably gonna be horrible. A jigsaw, that's a reciprocating saw, okay. So uh, the, oh wait, what is this? Is this got a reservoir? No way. There's like a liquid reservoir in here. Oh my gosh, it's got a little uh, tube right there. Uh, yeah, I guess you can lubricate your cuts for metal. So this one was actually on the same page as the chainsaw, and then you could just select the jigsaw. This guy is $13.06 with free shipping. And I'm not gonna use the junky blade that they sent with it. I'm actually gonna use a nice blade so we can, you know, give it on even footing with uh, other jigsaws. It's got the T-shank, so that seems to work nicely. Let's get it installed and let her rip. Okay, ooh, I, this could be kind of, uh, this could be nice or it could be bad because yeah, I, I feel like all the steering is just gonna be with this thing and uh, hmm, let's see how it works. I tell you what, that did a decent job. I mean, the cut is great. It took a bit longer. You definitely get no orbital action. It's just straight up and down. But I kind of liked the steering. 
<laughs> I'll tell you what, I am impressed. And I didn't even get to use the little lubrication reservoir, but I'm gonna definitely give this one a thumbs up because it cut really nicely and it's really cheap. And that gave us a huge second half comeback. We ended up with five thumbs up and five thumbs down. So I guess if you're buying tools off Alibaba, it's basically just a coin flip, whether it's gonna be great or a piece of junk. If you wanna see what a $70 domino looks like from Alibaba, I got a video queued up for you right there. A big thanks to the FTBT Builders Club, and until next time, guys, get out there and build something awesome.